Okay, so let's start today's webinar. Thanks so much for everybody who joined us. Um, we had a little technical difficulties in the past, so if you can't hear us or can't see us, we will record this webinar and send it to everyone so you have the chance to experience it with picture and audio if you are having trouble right now. Um, so today's webinar is about smart picking at uh, DB Schenker. I have today with me Jens Harik from Picavi and Detlef Protzmann from DB Schenker, who will tell us all about smart picking at DB Schenker. My name is Johanna. I'm also from Picavi and I will be the moderator for today and also taking in your questions. We will have a uh, Q&A at the end of this webinar, so feel free to drop a question in the Q&A speech bubble you will find on the left side of your window. And I will now hand over my virtual microphone over to you, Jens. Yeah, thank you, well, uh, Joanna. Welcome, dear participants of this webinar. Yeah, um, I'm the CEO of Picavi, and uh, I uh, start with a little introduction. So Picavi has been working on smart glasses uh, and the development of this pick by vision solution for logistics since 2014. We are focused on logistic processes because we consider a deep understanding of the industry and processes to be essential when developing a software. We continuously develop our solution further with a focus on usability and added value for the customer. This helps you, our customer, to further increase productivity. Examples of this are the now available complete control via voice commands of the smart glass and new tools such as analytics for very detailed process analysis. We exclusively use the Google Glass. The reason is that only these meet the necessary criteria of wearing comfort and low weight, which is necessary for productive use for a whole shift. This is confirmed again and again by our customers and the employees of our customers especially, which is important because they have to wear the smart glass the whole day. Since 2016, we have successfully installed our solution at more than 60 customers. These include national and international customers from industry and trade, such as, for example, Continental, PepsiCo, Bosch, Lifehide, and Doc Morris, as well as many of the most important logistics service providers. One of the largest worldwide is Schenker. And we are proud to count Schenker among our customers since 2019. Schenker is already using our solution at two locations, and we are currently planning and implementing further installation. Mr. Detlef Protzman from Schenker has agreed to report on this webinar about the joint project implementation, as well as about the use of the Picavi solution at Schenker. Afterwards, we will be happy to answer your questions together. So now I may, ha I may hand over to Mr. Protzman, and thank him in advance. Thank you, Jens. Um, hello, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Detlef Rotzmann. Uh, I come from DB Schenker, and I was responsible for innovation. Um, and also, um, you, you can see here on the movie um, a short impression about uh, the big uh, challenge from DB Schenker. It's not uh, only stock, it's value-added services. No? So you can see we, we work for pharmacal, we work for industrial, we work for customer, um, and so on. So now I will you show um, my experience or one of the most ex um, project with smart picking with our partners, uh, Picavi. Oh, First of all, I will you uh, show what is DB Schenker. DB Schenker have um, five divisions. No? One division is a land transport. The other one is air freight, ship, ocean, or trail. And 
Here, this is contract logistic, and I'm responsible for contract logistic. So, and now I will show this one for DB Schenker contract logistic and supply chain management. DB Schenker contract logistic is presented on five uh, continents all over the world. We have um, sites in 56 countries. Our locations are 757 facilities on the world. We work um, around about 8 million square meters. And we have uh, around about 23,000 employees only for the contract, contract logistic all over the world. And here I will show in a an, an, an small uh, overview of the, um, the products from our, from our contract logistics. This is here end-to-end -end sourcing, consolidation and reverse logistic, industry specific expertise and dedicated solution, customized value added services, dedicated innovation and solution programs, and global operation excellence program, its name's Excite. So now we will I will show you here this dedicated innovation program. So and this this is named driving innovation. We have four points, four major points in this driving innovation program. The first is goods to person. The second one is automated guided vehicle, HEV. The third one is robotics. And the last one is supportive technique. For smart picking, this is the point of supportive technique because um, that is a manual process, and this is one of the major processes in our warehouses, picking. So, so now I will show here a um, picture with a colleague from me. He works as a um, picking area with a handheld. You can see he is working with both hands on this handheld. So now that it's not um, our challenge. Our challenge is how can we work hands-free for picking? So also we have time for picking and not for manual the handheld. So we have start in our in our organization the pilot project smart picking. That means we want to split the device, the handheld in two devices. One device is for the display and one device is for the scanning or for the uh, confirmation. So um, in, the, in our project, we uh, have the two devices. One device is a Google Glass for the display unit and the other one is for the scan unit, the ProClove. And the partner is Picavi for this project. So here on this picture, I will show you a little impression about the many stakeholders in this project. So we have here, the green color is our customer. The yellow color is our supplier. Here it's Picavi and the red one send all our stakeholder on the DB Schengen. So you, you see here that is if you if you have also a project in your organization, it is very important to in, to involve all stakeholder by start the project. So um, so now we have here to um, discuss with many stakeholder for example IT security it's very important with the employees no? 
because the employers um, have have many questions. It is good for my health. Yeah, it is dangerous. What is with the with, with the Google Glass? Yeah? Um, it is it is possible to control my work. After here. So operation council that's very important also because we have many discussions so you can all integrate it um, in the in this discussion the management board so, yeah health so we work uh, here with uh, a separate organization with universities to to um, uh, control or check the people after the, the pilot path so, so we have an, an um, dangerous or, um, or it is yeah illness for the people to work with the Google class. So now I will show here some the devices by working. Here is here um, a colleague from, from my side with the Google class here and with the scan unit with a pro cloth. And here, this is a PPC. That means it's a power packet uh, Picavi controller. That's the Akku for the Google Class. Here you have a separate picture with a Google Class, with a display unit, with a pro cloth, with a charger for the PPC. And here you see the display, what the colleague here see on his small monitor of this this class. Um, we have 757 sites worldwide. So we have many different warehouse management system. By the one hand, with our systems, internal DB Schenker systems. By the other hand, with customer systems. So, so we need a solution for smart picking. Um, so, so we it's possible to adapt on all customer and our warehouse management system. And Picavi have a fine solution without any middleware. So the the logic is only on the smart classes. So we have no middleware between the warehouse management system from db schenker and the google class so you, you can see we have here many situations for example here on the picture you see four um, scenarios here is a customer uh, warehouse management system or enterprise relation program here we have the db schenker wms and, and here you see the different interfaces to the mobile devices. The old one is Telnet, the new one is ITS Mobile. So we have many different others for SAP, EWM, yeah, with, with, um, with, with other uh, interfaces. And here we have the situation by the customer's uh, ERP system that we have here Telnet and ITS also. So, and and you can see here with a uh, with smart class, smart picking interface, it is possible to switch display device and scan device. And also it is possible to make um, a vision, to, to make a voice, and you can scan. It's great. So here on this picture, I will show the old situation on the held and held. And this is a new situation on the Google class. You can see here, this is, these are the same information uh, with the uh, place number on the stock, with the material number, with the handling unit number, and so on. Uh, so it's also the same points. So that means we work with SAP. We have no change in SAP. We switched this interface from Google Class or from Picavi. And so we, we transform um, this monitor and this monitor in the Google Class. So 
So now we have to find a use case. So we we work with um, with um, MTM um, time time uh, measurement method. So we have here the old process, and here we have the redesign process. So we see, okay, step by step, what is the time for the separate uh, process steps. And we have here the, the times with yellow lines. So, so you see the yellow lines means this process step was redesigned by the Google class or by the solution by Picavi. So, and you can here so compare the times and here between the old process and the new process. So, and you see here, roundabout, we have 10% 10 10 um, opportunity optimization in our process by one pick. So how time you need for this project? Um, in my experience, we have to start um, in Rotko with a pilot. So we need four months from a sign of supplier to subsequent end of project for the uh, service from Picavi. So four months with kickoff meeting and uh, project plans and redesign from the old process to, to make an, an pilot, uh, make an, an testing, yeah, testing the new processes. After then, you make a training and train the trainer with the people. Huh? Then the next step is go live on site. Then high back here, it's very good with Picavi because the people are on board on the site. So if we need uh, help or we need support, it, it's it, it's a short distance or short way to have the information. So. That is very critical, fast here for all project manner. You know that this one here is uh, to go with the, the project is high and low. So if you interest on this um, project, yeah, I think we have um, the first step is we have here a short checklist. I think it's the first step to go this four main questions. Do you have a use case? What is the internal resource for this one? What are the technical requirements for the product? And the very important, it is a business case. No? So we have here many different points. How do we pick, for, if you see the use case, how do we pick, how do we pick today? How many people pick? How many shifts per day? And the question is for the IT: What is the WMS? So here you see what are the technical requirements for the product. Is my WMS supported? Do I have a take structural measure for the implementation? So it is possible to make an, an redesign in my process. What? Other technical requirements are there. Well, what is uh, what is with with uh, WLAN or Wi-Fi in in my operation and so on? Um, it what is if the Picavi or smart pinging is running? That's good. Why? What is when the system is not running? So, if it's possible to make a fallback scenario. No? So what additional devices I supported? Can I continue to use my existing in parallel? So after then, if I have checked this question and it's all clear, I need a project team with the IT, with project management, and also with the key user. So and after then, I can make my business case so and, and and calculate it it's possible make sense it's a return of invest 
So here, here's the old picture picking yesterday, picking today. Here, you see here, it's a very funny colleague with Google Glass. It's a small frame. Yeah? And here with, with um, the ProClove, it's very good. Yeah? The people are happy yeah? because they are, have their hands free and can work and pack with, with both hands. So now I will show you a small movie from our operation in Rotgo. The standard was to pick and work with paper. Now we can work without paper. The worker had to always move around, you know, like take something in the hand or go to the screen or to the keyboard to enter something. The order will be shown on the display of the glasses. They don't have to drive to our main station to get it. They have two hands free for working. They can concentrate on the products. As the customers was very interested about this project, we have safety, productivity and efficiency. We have here two devices for our hands free picking. The one device is the Google Glass and the other device is the ProClove. I'm so happy to say that I was very, very surprised that it was so good accepted by the employees. If young or old, everybody had given a very good feedback. So they are happy, so are we. Okay, so that was a um, an short impression for the pilot project with Picavi, smart picking on our branch, Rhein Main, on the side Rotgo. So now I am finished with my small presentation. Thank you for your interest. And do you have any questions? Please contact Picavi. Yes. Yeah? So, okay, many thanks. Yeah, thank you for your presentation and all the, the interesting insights. Um, so now we have um, about yeah 20 minutes for a Q&A, so if we can start a little discussion. So if you have any questions, please feel free to, to drop them in the Q&A or in the chat, however you, you would like to do it. And we will go ahead and answer your questions questions. So now we are waiting on some questions. Um, let me um, drop a question myself um, because as you can see I am wearing glasses with prescription. How is the situation with people in the warehouse that wear glasses? How is the solution there? So maybe I answer this question. So there are different frames available for the smart glass and you can simply connect the electronic part of the smart glass to different frames and there are also frames available available where you can set in uh, prescription glasses so um, and uh, there you can insert the individual prescription glasses for the worker so if a worker one another question normally then is coming is what is if the worker leaves the company so then the frame is still uh, usable but you may have to change the prescription glasses in the frame so uh, so far the workers can't use their own smart their own prescription glasses because uh, there's a special connection for the this electronic part the frame and therefore we have to use specific frames we are working on a solution that will make it possible to wear your own glasses but uh, that's just at the beginning of this development mm -hmm. great okay so we have one question from steven he asked how many hours does one charge of the picavi power control last during a shift mm. so the pkv power control the battery capacity is enough for eight to ten hours 
So uh, we don't have any problems to work with the Picabi power control for whole shift. You don't have to exchange it in between. Okay, perfect. And that's the reason because our original battery, battery capacity of the smart glass just lasts for about four hours. And that's the reason why we combine it with the Picabi power control. Uh, besides the control function with these buttons on the Picabi power control, which is also possible to use it for the navigation of the smart glass. It's uh, the main reason is the additional battery capacity uh, so that you don't have to uh, exchange smart glasses during the shift. Okay, perfect. And then we have a follow-up question from Steven. Uh, maybe that is something for uh, you, Mr. Prutzman. Uh, can the glasses be used on a forklift truck? Yes, it's possible, yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, we use this um, this is a forklift driver. No, so we um, so we um, work. Um, okay, um, the Google Glass is um, is good for the forklift driver, and um, the other one is um, is um, Proclov um, is also good to to manual the forklift. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. And then we have a question from Alberto. He is asking how many workflows are implemented at DB Schenker. Okay, um, the first uh, workflow is, is the picking process because this is a major process. No? Um, but we have many different uh, processes um, from dock to stock for the inbound uh, quality uh, quality inspection or for the for the um, scanning or for the uh, 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 scanning and, and sorting the, the goods. And we have um, planning um, other process for the quality inspection uh, afterwards. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, we have, we have, we have another site uh, for automotive. Um, uh, here at Rotgau, this is uh, industri industrial side. Huh? So, mm -hmm. so we have also um, automotive customers, and and also we have automotive uh, sites. So we have sequence, sequence mm -hmm. parts for the, the assembly line. Yeah. This has mm -hmm. already been introduced uh, or implemented there too. Yeah. Yes. Yes. This is our uh, second pilot in Bremen. Yeah. by our customer Daimler. Okay, nice. Also with Picavi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one more question from me um, until we, we get another question from the audience. How did people, uh, especially on the workforce, react when you brought smart glasses into the warehouse? Were there any challenges with acceptance and how is that uh, going right now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have um, many, many discussed now. So, so I, um, I show you this one, um, this point in, in my short presentation you know, with the uh, different stakeholders. It is very important to, to involve this person on the front of the project. You know? so, so, um, so, so you can uh, see what is, um, what is a Google Glass, you know? what, what is with, with, with the feeling, look and feel with this device. You know? It is possible to, to bring my, my own classes. Oh, yeah. Um, what um, the other point is, is this um, the, um, the, the cleaning? No. So so also, and one major point, or the um, um, yeah, that's a big point for for the acceptance was that we have an a mock up process with Picavi for the people. Mm -hmm. So also we start with a, with a complete uh, project we have um, discussed with Picavi and and we make an a mock up process with um, with a smart picking solution. So and and those are the people and council and all uh, members from from TP Schengen can test it. Um, this this devices and this solution and this was um, a big advantage for for the um, yeah for our project. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have another question from Steven, and he asks if uh, Schenker has pictures of the products included in the picking software to assist the pickers. 
And if not, is this also possible for other Picari installations? So it's actually two questions, one for you, Mr. Potsman, and one for Jens. Okay, um, I think for the technology, it's not a problem, but um, this is a problem from the master, da master data. No? So, uh, so uh, here, here for the picture, um, it, it, it's no problem to, to um, show some small small picture from the from the material on the on the screen on the on the google class is no problem but um, you need a picture in the master data now if you if you uh, pick uh, different uh, driven lines um, in your in your pick order yeah so so we have the information from the um, warehouse management system and also you need the picture in the master data from your warehouse management system if you have this information, it's no problem to show the pictures from the material on the on the Google Glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I have to add uh, this. So it's correct what you said. It's no problem to introduce product pictures. Hello. Ah, he froze. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the digital age. Um, in the again. Ah, there Yes. yes. Now, can you hear yes, me again? Can hear you okay. again. Okay. So, um, <laughs> welcome yes, back. It's correct. It's correct. Uh, you need a uh, different source where the pictures come from, but this has not be coming from the warehouse management solution. It can be just an external drive where you put the pictures and we sort the pictures uh, at the right time uh, into the process. So you just uh, need the pictures uh, from product, and then we can combine it with our solution. Yes, perfect. And we All have right. examples already that, that might be also interesting. Yeah. Yes. So here's the, the little uh, advice. Get in touch with us if you want more information on the software and the picture possibilities. Um, so one more question uh, from me. Um, I remember the last couple of days we talked about that uh, DB Shanka has, and that's only the logist intra-logistics, um, 3PL part, um, over 750 warehouses, correct me if I'm wrong, and over uh, almost 8 million square meters of um, yeah, space, which mm -hmm. is very impressive. Um, what are the plans uh, for the smart picking in the future? Okay, so the plan is um, that we make a rollout from this pilot um, to all um, uh, sites with, um, so we have here on this side, um, many picking processes. So this is our plan. So so um, our plan is that smart picking is a standard process and have we um, and we make smart picking for the redesign and for the tenders for new business. So we plan um, if we have a manual process with picking so the device is Google Glass and uh, broke loaf and covered by um, Picavi. Okay, so it's it's basically the the standard product you could order off a catalog. In the yes, future. yes, okay. yes. You know, it's a standard. No. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, and we are happy to to go this way with Schenker. And what I see then the question is maybe I have we have. Uh, not answer to the question of Alberto. He's asking if it is possible oh, to yeah. integrate voice control in the pick by vision system. And yes, I totally overread that. I'm so sorry. Yes, <laughs> it is. And uh, there are two ways which how you can use voice uh, in combination with the smart glass. The one is to control the smart glass to to especially it's interesting in situation where you have to do some input input might be numbers thinking about quantity correction he should pick 10 pieces there are just five left and he has to do a quantity correction then he can uh, first he can either use the ppc in order to jump in an exception menu by a shortcut with the buttons but the other possibility is just to control it by voice and say hey exception menu or, or quantity correction then it jumps in the menu and he can also it order or it, it can um, enter uh, the correct number just by saying, hey, five pieces or six or whatever he has found. That's possible. And the next thing which is possible with voice support is you can also do some voice output. 
So you have got the screen, sure, but in some situation, it might be faster to use voice output. Thinking about a multi-order process, he's picking the same good and has to put it in different boxes for different client. Then it might be faster to say, hey, uh, put it in box five, box one, box three, in addition mm -hmm. to displaying it on the smart glass. So it might be also help to be faster. All those um, customization and, and process adjustments are part of the initial project workshop and where we define together with you what is the best support in each situation, each process step and how we should do it and re and how we should implement it on the smart glass. So, but there are a lot of possibilities uh, how you can also support the process by voice. Okay, so maybe just a little little summary of that. Um, we are using a multi multimodal approach um, to leverage all the different technologies that are able with the smart glasses to make it as easy and ergonomically uh, for the worker as possible. Yes, yes, that's correct. So, um, so I have here um, the picture from from the present presentation uh, with um, with um, uh, three hardware devices. Now, this here is a Google Glass. We have only the Google Glass uh, for the, the display. It's not scanning. It's not touch. All touches here on this PPC. PPC now, you have here four or uh, uh, five buttons. One two, three, four, and five. And um, so, um, the colleague see here on the, on the baseline from the menu, um, what is the, the button here? So, so also we have all function here on this PPC, not on the Google Glass. The Google Glass is only for the display and scanning is only with Proclove. All other functions are here on this PPC. Okay. Yeah, and, and what, what's important, what you already mentioned, Tedef, is that in the lower line or in the bottom line, there will be uh, shown the commands which are available in each situation. And this is for this is on the one hand the commands or the, the shortcuts on the PPC, but you, there will also be in written form the commands if you use voice control. And therefore, it's very easy to learn if you're thinking about new employees. Uh, and the introduction of the solution because they don't have to uh, learn any commands by heart or something like this. Uh, it's not necessary because if they can read, they can see what they have to do. Yes, mm. exactly. Yes. And that's uh, why we have customers that report they only need 15 to 30 minutes of training time, um, which is quite awesome. Um, so we have another question from Steven, and he's asking if it's possible to take a photo with the glasses, for example, for quality control or checking a sub-assembly uh, is correct. Yes, it is possible to take a picture. Normally, we switch off the camera during the process. Mm -hmm. This is for, um, yeah, for, for data protection reasons. Uh, so that uh, an employee is not able to make some pictures or some videos or whatever. So this function is normally switched off, but it's possible to switch the camera on in certain process steps. And then you can use it for quality documentation of photos. We have yeah. also already clients using this functionality. Yes. It is also in process for, for DB Schenke to make, to make um, a quality documentation. On the on the quality process, if you have a, a problem with uh, with the return goods or with um, with the incoming goods, um, that we make a picture and attached uh, this one to the to the order. Yes, great. So we're gonna wait another minute if there are more questions popping up. Um, I would like to use this opportunity to uh, yeah make make an announcement of about all our other webinars. So the next one will be next Wednesday about smart data in logistics. This will also be an English one, but the week after that, I believe, or two weeks after that, we have the same one in German. Um, and we have uh, some uh, webinars uh, with Google and also with the Fraunhofer about cognitive ergonomics. And I see we don't have any questions anymore. 
Do you want to add anything that you still have on your mind? No, not, not from my side. So thank you very much for attending the webinar. And yeah, afterwards we are still available via the email or phone or whatever in order to help you further or to ask additional questions or provide additional information. Um, and yeah, we're looking forward to maybe see some of you again during the next couple of weeks. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you also from my side. Um, and do you have interest? You have my, my contact uh, data. So, um, and if you are very interested on the, on the practical, so it's, um, I think it's, it's possible to, to visit to Rotgau and you can test it, um, the equipment um, by self. Yeah, once, thank you very once, much. That the once the strange off. situation is over, we are all meeting up again <laughs> in yeah. real life. Yeah. So thank you everybody for joining this webinar. I hope you gained some, some interesting insights. As I said, we will share uh, the, the recording of the webinar and also the slides. Um, feel free to contact us if you have any more questions or would like to have a demo. Thank you very much and see you again soon. Bye.